Hey guys, Control Defeat here, and if you've ever tried to run shaders in Minecraft using the open source graphics drivers in Linux, chances are you'll probably end up seeing something that looks like this. Now the reason why these shaders aren't working correctly is because, by default, Minecraft does not request a core profile from Mesa, Mesa being the open source OpenGL implementation. Because it does not request a core profile from Mesa, by default it will use OpenGL version 3.1 and the ancient GLSL version 1.40. So how'd you go about fixing this? Well, it's actually really simple. All you need to do is set a couple of environment variables. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set the Mesa GL version override. Now what this will do is it will essentially override the default version of OpenGL being used. And you want to set this to whatever your core profile is. So I'm going to set mine to 4.5. Then you want to add compat. As far as I know, Minecraft still uses older versions of OpenGL for rendering the core engine. So in order to get the game to actually run, you'll need to specify backwards compatibility with this compat word uh, at the end of your version number. Uh, otherwise, as far as I know, your game just won't run. So I'm just going to go ahead and export that. And then what you want to do is you want to set your GLSL version override to 450. Uh, or whatever is specified in your core profile. GLSL mine is 4.50, so you want to just type in 450. Yeah, you just remove the decimal point, and you don't need to specify backwards compatibility with this one. Minecraft will still launch, even if you don't specify backwards compatibility in GLSL. What you'll need to do is you'll need to allow it to actually use these version overrides. So first you want to export this allow higher compat version. Let's set that to true, and what that will do is it will allow your OpenGL application, so Minecraft, it will actually allow it to use the higher version of OpenGL that you just specified. Then you'll need to export this force GLSL extensions warn. You want to set that to true, and that will allow you to use the higher version of GLSL that you specified. Now these last two are optional, so if you don't want vSync, you can just export vBlank mode. You want to set that to zero, and this is just to boost performance with Mesa. Uh, you can export Mesa GL thread. You can set that to true, and if you want to boost performance even further, you can export Mesa GL thread and set that equal to true. Now what this will do is scale your OpenGL application across many cores, but as far as I know, Minecraft is only, it only uses a single core unless you use Optifine. Personally, I haven't seen much of a performance improvement using this, but if you want to, uh, or if you're experiencing performance issues, you can try this. By the way, I'll have all these commands in the description. So as you can see, shaders are now working just fine. Let me just full screen this. Yeah, we're running at uh, 70 FPS. So yeah, that is how you can run modern uh, Minecraft shaders on the open source graphics drivers. And this isn't just for Minecraft, this, this also works for any other OpenGL application or game that doesn't request a core profile. Now keep in mind that when you export these, these will only export in the current bash environment that you're in. So let's say I, uh, since I exported all those environment variables into this terminal, if I try to run Minecraft in this one, it's still going to have those rendering issues you saw previously, so I'll just show you. So if you export these into, say, this terminal, but you run Minecraft in this terminal, you're not going to see a difference because all of those environment variables are being exported into this bash environment here. So they have no effect on this terminal. Now that's just something to look out for. In order to uh, remedy that, you could you could uh, go into command line by uh, doing control alt F2, and then you can log in through there, and then you can just export those in that bash environment. You could alternatively write a script 
so you don't have to type in all those environment variables. By the way, everything will be in the description. In order to run the script, you just need to do dot space gl stuff dot sh. Now, if you execute this with dot slash gl stuff dot sh, then it will not actually export the environment variables. You need to do dot space gl stuff dot sh, or whatever your script name is. Thank you guys for watching and. I hope this helped those of you who are using Linux and are stuck using the open source graphics drivers. Hopefully this video was of use to you, and I will see you guys next time. By default, Minecraft does not request a core profile from Missa.